Welcome to the After Party, a podcast with a cat boy, a creature, an emo, and a British orb. All right, that was Go pretty ahead. good, actually. Epic. Introduce yourself. All right. All right. I well, guess uh, I'm the cat boy, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so the creature is sleeping still because it's after an actual party, which is ironic. I didn't know creatures uh, like slept. Uh, oh, well, after do, right? they do after, they do oh after a party, after I guess. After the party? Yeah. This is crazy. Yeah, it's literally after a party. Um, Embarrassing. Yeah, and I see, I, well, you're the British orb, and then I'm the emo, I guess. Mm. What do you mean you guess you are? I couldn't think of anything better to describe myself as with, like, especially oh the, like, art that I made. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I made two frames. How did you get here? Right, like that's what I think yeah, is going right to be the to most the, interesting. Because right personally, I've got no idea. Like, how the hell did you get here? Yeah. Who Who am I? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Um. So, I mean, my connection to this podcast started um, when I started watching Finster, I guess, um, because I... Finster made you gay. Well, no. I I watched Finster for a while, uh, but I discovered Finster way after... Um, I actually think I discovered him through Nat, um, because I think I used to watch the Nat trolling videos, um, and then Finster appeared in one of them. But... Once I started watching Finster, I realized that there was a Discord for it, and so I joined. And kind of the meta of being in that Discord was that if you did any dress up or anything, you would post all of, like, whenever you would take selfies, you would, like, post them into media there. And then um, that's how I met Femios was through that and i was if like Femius oh was there. yeah femius was there i don't know if he still is but see i uh, find it really interesting yeah. because you were watching finster and then you went to the discord and you met femios there and after you met femios you became well i guess friends with femios and then you know how you're like i don't know what, what? happened after that what happened well okay so what happened was i i noticed that Femios had like a a YouTuber setup, and I was like, "Oh, do you do do you do YouTube?" And so I uh, I was like, "Oh, let me just check this out." And so I went over, and like usually, if I'm friends with someone, I'll subscribe to their YouTube even if I don't care about it. Um, and well, most of the time, I do care about it because like it's my friend doing it but if it's like movie clips like i'm not gonna care as much about that um as if, yeah, it's, if it's like sigma edits yeah i guess sigma edits would be more appealing to than just movie clips on like short i suppose it is um but femios was basically like a mix of really well like a mix of Finster and um, Conyer, and uh, but like way much more energy, and so that's kind of why I started watching him a lot. And what happened yeah. then? That's what I'm confused about. So that yeah. part I understand. What happened then is it's I like realized the Minecraft achievement. Like, how did you get here? So I guess what happened then is I joined the Discord server. And then I realized that the Discord server was terrible. <laughs> and then no I wonder. At, I left, but then at some point I started joining and during a stream so that I could hear better audio quality um, through the voice chat. During mm. well, during debate streams, he's in the voice chat, and so it's just better audio quality. So I joined for that, and then I would leave. 
And then eventually, I just stopped leaving. And also, I would realize that... Uh, excuse me. I, I realized that there would be sort of an after party in the general voice channel. So, I mean, that yeah. ended up being us. I suppose it did. Like, yeah. How did this mm -hmm. podcast even, like, happen? Like, I was like, you know what? Like, someone said, I'm pretty sure, like, it was one of us, I forgot, but like, like, let's do a podcast. And I'm like, I thought, brilliant, let's actually do a podcast. Like, literally. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? Let's make Alyssa the manager. And yeah. it, it worked. <laughs> it happened. Well, yeah, I, I, I uh... had uh, mentioned that I have done podcasts in the past. And I think that precipitated this. Yeah. Yeah, like, you've basically done this, like, seven years. And I was like, brilliant. We can do this. Like, we can, this is an actual possible thing. Yeah, and it I, actually um, did work out. Until recently, and I might start streaming, like when we are doing this on Twitch. But until recently, I've been kind of struggling to keep doing Twitch because I thought you were gonna say yeah. like you're just struggling in general. Uh, yeah, no, like, I'm I, just struggling, man. Like I'm like dying out here. I mean, no, I mean like things are okay, but I mean I've been yeah. struggling to keep caring about growing on Twitch because it's just like kind of plateaued in a way. Well, I keep getting more and more followers, but I don't get more and more viewers. So yeah, that's, that's what I've been kind of messing with. And, but I realized like I need to have other people on to make mm -hmm. things more interesting because nice. if not, I don't know what to talk about. Um, like even if I'm playing a game, it's just like, well, usually I play Pokemon, and I've played Pokemon, like, every day of my life. Wait, so it's like, like you play Pokemon what? Uh, well, re most recently it was Soul Silver, or no, Heart oh, Gold. So oh, that's good. Um, yeah, yeah, the older um, ones are better. Well, before that, I was playing um, Crystal, and I Crystal, did. Oh, I think that's literally my first ever Pokemon game. It's, yeah, it's I did, amazing. Um, I did one episode of um, Emerald, but the thing is, I did that on the family computer, and I would have to stream like as soon as I wake up if I wanted to stream on there because, mm. like, then family would come and I, it would just be awkward. Mm -hmm. But you were streaming um, Pokemon to millions of people. No, it was. You? It was more like two people. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, at least is. those two people were entertained. Well, one of them would be me, and one of them would be this streamer friend that was like, hey, I'll watch all of your streams just so that it'll be boost your viewers. So. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Do you yeah. know why Achito made videos on Femmeus in the first place? Oh, I can't. I can't be fucked to follow that shit, to be honest. Yeah, like, the reason is basically like Femios basically put like forty comments on his videos, like saying, "Yeah, I heard yeah about that. it's good that you like burned and shit." Like, it was really mean, uh, <laughs> but like obviously not like, obviously not like he didn't really mean it. It was like to piss him off, basically. He, well, like Femios is basically farming clout, I, I, I which know, is, I which is fine. I, I mean, it is what it is. I, I think. I think that's gonna bite Femios in the ass, which I mean, clearly it, it already has. I mean, clearly Femios right? would enjoy it. <laughs> well, I mean, that's another. Am question. I wrong? I, who wouldn't enjoy that, you know? But um. I mean, you're a femboy. What did I expect? I'm not. A, I know. I'm not a femboy. Okay. <laughs> Look at your name. You're femboy in denial. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be that if I didn't deny it. So. I, <laughs> I mean, you did deny it. Exactly, right? Exactly, um, yes. But I, I feel like I feel like we should all give our origin stories now. Um, origin stories, yes. So the legend of deep British Phil. It all it all started in uh, in I don't know, I'd have to say like 2020, 2019 when I started really uh, live streaming more and more often. I would like live stream like 3 four times a week and I started to try to debate people um, 
I debated this guy, Snake was right, um, and I went to a bunch of political Discord servers. Eventually, 2021 runs around, I get invited to this philosophy Discord server. They're actually really nice, they explain a lot of things to me, um, I learn a lot, uh, I start debating more and more people, and eventually in 2022, uh, I do one debate on this huge, uh, well not huge platform, it was a tiny platform, but on a larger platform, and it was horrific, it was, uh, I failed, I was stupid, I was an idiot, and so I backed off from that. But obviously I stayed in the game and I watched, uh, I watched all these debaters and stuff like that. And so I actually found Femios, not from like even their channel or anything like that. I found Femios from watching, um, what's their name? Uh, Godless Girl. A video that I think that I think Godless Girl uploaded that was a recording of a debate between Femios and some uh, presuppositionalist apologetic person and I saw their comment in the comment section I went to their channel saw that they do live streams saw that they had a discord and well you know how I am I I like debate I like debate people and I like femboys so of course that's how I got in the community. It makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's why I'm here. I suppose it does make a bit of sense. Mm -hmm. Now you I... might be wondering, like, how the hell did I get here? It's like the most far out place I could have possibly been. Yeah. I've no idea, honestly. Like, I don't know why I'm here. You know what, I was just like having a great day and I uh, stumbled upon a live stream on my YouTube recommended of some weird dude who's dressing up as a woman and I was like, what am I looking at? And I pressed it and I was like, I don't know why I'm watching this. I think it was like, I like, disagree with like a Cheeto on a few things and I was like, oh, this person also disagrees with the Cheeto on a few things, right? So I, I went into, into the Discord and I was like, you know what, there's people here, let's talk. And I started talking, and everyone called me British. Whereas in reality, I've never even been to England, which is really weird. But yes, that is what happened, and I just appeared here. I probably shouldn't be here, but like, here I am. Wonderful. Mm. That's my origin story. YouTube recommends set me up to be gay. So yeah, that's how it is. What do you think the most creative? Uh, era of YouTube that you've been around for has been most creative 2015 probably 2017 like, personally I think the most creative would be like 26 no, no 2015 to like 2018 that was like yeah. the best time in like everything after 2018 like 2018 was amazing I think everything peaked in 2018 and it went like downhill like I remember like I have something like a writing I, that I did in like 2018. I was like, 2018 was like the best year of all time. Like I was like, yes, literally, it was amazing. Everything was so perfect, right? And 2019 here, and it was just, it was so bad, right? Like 2018, oh, like yeah. peaked on everything, like in commentary and YouTube content, like everything was amazing. Like everything was like flourishing, basically the peak of civilization for YouTube, and like the world in general. It was like going really well and then fucking COVID hit, which was, well, not particularly good. We were doing too well and this had to happen. Yeah. But it's just like 2018 like was way too good. Like I knew at that point, like it can't get better than this. And it didn't. No, I, like, I, I totally remember, like, feel I used that. to watch like PewDiePie at, at that time. And I was like, yes, this content is amazing. Like, I used to be like a really huge fan of people. I mean, he doesn't upload like videos anymore, basically. He's got a kid now. So but I'm like, actually, uh, I, I actually on. differ from you guys. Um, I think the most creative era of YouTube was between 2010 and 2014, because- I wouldn't, like, I mean, go uh, ahead, explain it. So at that time, there wasn't an established algorithm. Uh, or 
there either wasn't or it was before they started making changes but people didn't have to rush their videos really they didn't have to do a weekly video or a monthly video and so um i think you're talking like, about like what 2006 to 2010 no, because like well, 2010 oh, like that's yeah. the time basically where let's play has existed that yeah, was like the they most had competitive boring content. Yeah, they, they had well, in that time. They had that so, shit. I think you're mistaken. I think you're talking about like this. I forgot what, this. Like this, um, a YouTuber. Like you remind me of something. Like it was like an entire series, like so, of like mystery and like filmmaking. I remember this. I think you're right. Like I wait, think actually, the time frame's wrong. Let me look something up. Yeah, um, I mean, 2010 to 2014, there was a lot of shit going on. Um, there was the, like the beginning of the commentary community with Mr. Mediker, an inter internet aristocrat. He went by like a bunch of fucking names back then. Aristocrat? So, you're talking about Colossus Crazy? No, no, I'm talking about Mr. Mediker. Mr. Right, so in... if you if you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know. <laughs> Mr. Actually, Medic. What? Yeah. So the era would technically start in 2009 but i mean 2009 would be the end of a different era which was the beginning of youtube um the beginning of the end yeah but so youtube would be or like 2010 or actually 2012 was actually like what i would consider to be a golden era for smosh at least um which who were titans at the time really they really and, were like, yeah. they were so gotta, huge gotta, like everyone um, on youtube knew them and I'm there was sorry. ryan i'm so sorry uh, i just gotta i just gotta say like if you if you think that that's like oh this is like primo content like smosh it isn't and like what's that what's that guy's name like fred or whatever they made like uh, i don't care about oh fred. my god like, you used to like, like i'm like, sorry horrible. i'm sorry like um, Personally, I think the best was like, do you guys know Computer Nerd Zero One? Like he used to make parodies. Uh, I actually like he made don't. like the Kesha parody. Oh wait, I think I remember that. But um, let me finish my explanation. Actually, um, yeah, go on. So there was Smosh at the time, which I mean, maybe they're not perfect, but they were Titans and they were pretty creative, I would say. Um, at the same time, let me sync this up. Let me guess. What's next? Uh, Rhett and Link. Oh my god. Good no, mythical I'm... morning. Yeah, good mythical morning. There was I mean, personally, I find the... all of that really cringe. Yeah, um, that's me too. I'm like cringing now. Right there's now. Like, even at that time, I was like, of, this is um, not what I want to watch. There was Rocket Jump. Also started picking up at the time. Um, with Real Life Portal Gun which was like really really well edited and like really awesome special effects for the time i think you're uh, also like i think you're forgetting to mention like red versus blue yeah red versus blue at the time um mm. and then there's also that the was, entire like, almost um, revolutionary because like there was so much creative freedom there like yeah you could do anything with red, like, red versus blue and people would watch it and it was like you could talk about anything it's amazing and there's also um what is it Oh, uh, yeah, uh, the entire, like, Lego stop motion community. Oh, uh, God. Like, have, did you guys ever... They were, like, as, hard workers. Like, when you when you were younger, did you ever watch, um, like, the Lego Batman ones that were, like, super raunchy? No. No, actually, what? Oh, um, I, I, I wasn't that... I was. I don't think I was that young back then, because I'm, I'm, well, I'm a little older. Uh, at that time, I think I was more into... Uh, Wait, listen, how old are you? I, I am 21. I'm 21. 21? What's 9 plus 10? <laughs> 19. Uh, no, you I... stupid. 21. <laughs> Damn. I'm right. the youngest so, here, that's weird. These Lego I sound Batman... the oldest. <laughs> yeah. These Lego Go Batman on. videos did not age well as in like the jokes because they are very like raunchy like as i said how um, raunchy were talking show me like link it so jamie pull that up yeah here's one of them um this 
as far as I remember, this one's pretty tame. Let me see. Uh, but there's one where there's like, I mean, I, in a way, I guess it's progressive for the time. Uh, but it's also not at the same time where um, they make Harley Quinn trans just to make like a trans joke about it. But um, at the Whoa, same time, I don't know why like, they would do that. <laughs> but, I mean, but at the same time, it's sort of progressive because it implies that the Joker is like dating her still. Uh, oh, my God. Joker very, based. very progressive. Very well. Yeah, no but he wonder still, Batman doesn't kill Joker. But Batman he still like gives Joker's her Joker's based. Yeah, he still gives her shit about it though. But like, which is the part that didn't age as well. Yeah. But um. Yeah. So there's also. Oh, oh at the time, um, Marble Hornets. Have you guys ever heard of that? Actually, no. Let me just. See. I don't know any it, of this. Um, it was. Basically. Whoa. What I would co consider it was the first um, ARG, the first ARG, yeah. Oh my god, this is amazing looking! Wow, I've never ever seen this. Like nine years ago, it was like the last one. This is amazing. Yeah, like, what I, I think is that's this about? what ended. Um, well, it's also a product of the time. Um, it is about Slenderman. I think there's also something like an ARG, like uh, twelve years ago. I don't know. What was it called? Um, it was like, it was like a girl. What was it? Oh God. Was it um, Hey P bring you teleport? No, no, no. There's like this oh, girl um, that like Marzargo. Mar 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 again? Marzargo. No, no, no. The, I don't get it like this. I don't know. It's like, no. Oh, what was it about? Let me go to my notepad. I was like doing like a script for a video, and I found that on complete accident. It was crazy. What was it called? Rever, no. Maybe it's Rever. Like, there's a website called, there used to be a website called Rever, where basically, Wikipedia, Rever Wikipedia. This yeah, has um, to be it. I'm, I'm, Lonely I'm like Girl a... 15. Oh, can you send a picture of that? I think I remember. Oh my god. Okay, uh, just like, type Lonely Girl 15. Uh, in the uh, you'll get all, yeah, Google or YouTube. Like, oh my god, this is crazy. I just didn't note it. I feel like I missed out on this. this. I, yeah, I this was, is like super old. <laughs> I was spending all that time uh, binging Minecraft Let's Plays. Yeah. Too, too busy yeah. with uh, that So, shit. guys, today well, I'm going to be like going so... to play Minecraft on Xbox. This game looks pretty good. So, I'm going to be chopping down some wood, mate. So, 2010 also. I don't think, or I don't remember exactly what year it was when Minecraft came out, but um, when Minecraft was, yeah. So when Minecraft That's when was Notch, new, like, pushed the lever. Mm -hmm. When Minecraft was new, I mean, yeah, yeah, the content's cringy now, but it brought us so many YouTubers that we wouldn't have otherwise. Yeah, um, like Dan TDM. Well, like PewDiePie. Mr. Um, Beast yeah. was a Minecraft. Like, he was like that, that was his first video, by the way, for PewDiePie. Well, like, he did like Minecraft. The first, the first video that's still up. Um, and on Mr. that channel, Beast I think that was, was a the actual first YouTuber. video. He had like another yeah. channel called PewDie, and like yeah. he had other like, content in it. Leafy um, was a Minecraft YouTuber. Uh, he literally made like a million dollars from like Minecraft because of his yeah. server, which is <laughs> yeah, insane. That's crazy. I mean, you can't do that anymore because it's like against like Minecraft TOS, as in like you can't make people pay for shit that's already in the game. Like, I've seen yeah. a lot of people do this, like, pay-to-win stuff. Like, if you give me $15, I'll give you, like, the OP diamond sword. And, like, it'll be, like, a sharp 1,000 sword that you can just, like, one-tap people with. And it's, yeah, like, obviously that's insane. I mean, 2B2T so, gets away with it, so... I mean, I mean 2B2T is different because, like, there's, it's an anarchy server, right? Like, I also there's think no money involved scam. there. No, there is money involved. It's so a, now it's, it's a scam. Pass. It's a fucking scam. That server is. I don't know about that. That's a bit of a stretch to say. So the server isn't a scam. Yeah, like the thing is, is, like 2B2T, is. where people play. Like the thing is, the only thing 2B2T really sells is, well, passes to get into the server. 
yeah. which is fine, right? You have to pay. Like, no, that's not. Listen, you, no, you pay don't have for to the pay. value like, you can that wait you longer. made. You pay for the value that you created by being on no, the No, like you can enter it's it still, without it's the so thing. It's so stupid. It'll just take a while. That's the only difference. So, like the same guy who made the video that I just sent recently, um, like made this a few months ago, and it looks like CGI, but it's real life. Um, oh, damn. Lego Joker tries to make everyone go gay. Base. Well, yeah. this is the gay potion. J Station. Uh, like, I don't remember how he does it, but I watched it a few months ago when it came out. Um, oh my god. It's the lighting. The lighting is so good. Yeah. Um, and like the atmosphere. It's amazing. But so I think if 2014 to 2018 is a renaissance, I think. 2010 to 2013 is a genesis. Like, I agree it, with that. It's when all of the tools for creativity became like available. Yeah, people could actually do stuff. Also, look at this. This is what I was talking about. I posted in chat. Lonely Girl 15. Alright, let me look at this. It's like uh, so long ago. Like 14 years ago was it's the last like the real video. The oldest one is like, what, 16 years ago, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so it only went on for like two years, though. Uh, that's Actually, so cool. it was 17 years ago. Okay, so uh, three years. God damn, it's like this channel is like as old as me. That's crazy. Yeah, Um. so it is crazy that YouTube is as old as some people uh, it's like that exist in real life. Like, it's like that, so yeah, crazy, that makes me it? feel old. It makes me feel like an ancient person. Yeah. When, but I, like, when I, make... I was little, computers used to look like TVs, and TVs used to look like a big fucking uh, box. I mean, like, I remember when and... we had like CRTs. Do you remember that? Yeah, like yeah. Like the cathode ray tube. Oh. Like, it's <laughs> so massive. Actually, oh, until recently. God until well not recently but like until maybe five years ago i was using this um as well i can see the main, well the main tv in my room i was using a rear projection rear projection tv and it was the screen itself was smaller than the flat screen i currently have in my room but it was so heavy I, mean, uh, I, would, I would imagine, yes. So it, it was yeah. extremely hard to get out of my room oh, when I. Like, uh, this reminds me, I, like, do you, did you like? Did you know, like, if you had a, like an LCD, like regular computer monitor, the CRT would look better than it. Like the quality uh, uh, is like significantly better. It's on certain games. Reason, is, that, is that true? Uh, it's not on certain games. It's just like, like the that's the reason is like the black level is just significantly better because it's not like a backlight, right? It's CRT. Like cathode ray tube, like it's very accurate looking, so, and like it's um, so much better. The only problem is like the wattage is like fucking insane. Well, the it, thing like, is, takes the so much um, power. the TV I was using, yeah, uh, you could see, you can count the pixels what on it. Was it? Um, oh, that was not good then. Yeah, I don't, like, I, I don't had, know like, what an, brand a full it was. HD one, like um, Panasonic, but the TV Sansui. I use right now is a samsung uh tv but it it looks just I've like i wondered like like things like this like when you were like younger like when all of us were younger like everything was japanese like all the good electronics were like japanese yeah like did you realize that like I, and we were like you know japan's the best like at everything yeah like all the yeah. cameras were like japanese all the like recording equipment like all everything was japanese because like everyone loved that place and now it's just like there's nothing like electronic about Japan. Oh, Japan's like, it's a wasteland. Like, so rare. Japan's so it's a like, wasteland for real. Reminds me like Ayabara. Like, it's like so much shit now. Talking about um, like older stuff reminded me of. So actually, um, Zrumi, he rage quit and like left the server because I muted him for a day. <laughs> <laughs> He was... I mean, he's 14. Yeah, but he was so mad that, like, he didn't even try to 
like waited out. He just left. Uh, oh my but, god! I mean, um, no point. Say, <laughs> yeah. Um, but he was when I found out he was fourteen. I was like, the for the rest of the day, I was joking about all this stuff from that I still use to this day. That he is older, or that he is younger than, uh, that he was born after the creation of, like, the Wii, and <laughs> the Xbox 360, and like, iPhones. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. crazy shit. Like, I remember. How can those people exist? I remember when the Wii came out. Like, I remember the ads and shit. Like, everyone wanted one. That's oh, crazy. Yeah. Like, like, here's something that might be crazy to some of you. I remember the 2008 market. Like I, I literally like remember that shit. I remember, um, I remember when Obama was elected and when gay marriage was legalized. But as a kid, I didn't get like the whole point of it. Oh, well, my my parents case, sat me down as well. My parents sat me down in 2008 and said, essentially, shit's fucked. Like they oh literally like God. sat me down and said like the world is ending. Son, they're kind of <laughs> fucked. I'm not gonna lie. My extent of knowledge of the market crash was I would get less Lego sets for Christmas. Oh <laughs> like, my God, that's so sad. Uh, See, I never played with Legos when I was a kid. I had like an alternative. What I liked were like, do you know like those like clips that you put on like. The clothes when you like hang them to dry. If you guys do that, uh, like, do you just guys like, get like a dry cleaners? Clippers. Clothes pins, yeah. Um, yeah. We don't. I mean, everyone has a washer in America. I think it comes with the houses. I mean, but, we have um, as well, but it's we like get, we get dry because yeah, the dry. But like in India, it's like because it's so fucking hot. We can just like put the, put it there for like I don't know, like a day, and like immediately everything will be done. Right, like we've got extra space, and we like, we have a a specific place where we put these things and like we have like got what those clip things right like i don't know what's yeah, called. yeah, yeah. like i used to pens. take those clips and make robots with them like i used uh, to like join yeah. them together and like you know, that's why um, i used that's crazy. legos when i was a kid i had well i, I had stop a... motion with those oh, i did awesome. legos <laughs> i did legos as a kid yeah i mean i still have a collection of legos because like the new sets are awesome uh <laughs> But that's the most autistic thing that you have ever told me. <laughs> ever. <laughs> yeah, Lego, okay. you know what? That's awesome. That's brilliant. Uh, well, I, oh I can see I can see why it like Lego's not as popular other places because it's so like It's like an American thing. It seems well, it's a lie. Danish thing, but it seems to be No, like as in like a lot of Americans just it's like part of American culture almost. Yeah, but I think um the reason it is is because the prices seem tailored to america yeah like they don't get cheaper in che in poorer countries which yeah. most, like most toys do the, the thing is this they're is like minecraft but for real life well like yeah, you get like yeah. blocks the, it's like literally like the, the same they, demographic um, too well yeah. i yeah. mean the people the people who like design every lego thing well are danish um but the people who work in the at least the closest factory to me are uh mexican because it's in mexico um and they know the market at least and they will sell like production pieces that well are rare because they're production pieces and they'll know they'll know a good price for them that will make them sell and stuff like that. So oh. they're at least familiar with the whole like community. Well, here, here's something. I want something. to see how much like a Lego would cost. So, like, how much um, would it cost for like I don't know like the most basic Lego set? So, the most basic Lego sets nowadays in America are well, actually, so for a just a figure. It's like five bucks usually, five dollars. Um, like, I mean, you can like, I don't know why. Set, you can get a whole set for ten bucks. Whole set isn't like how big would it be like? Uh, it would be like 
It would fit on a table, then, right? Well, definitely. It would be like 80 to pieces. Like 120 pieces uh, within I that mean, range. Like, how much would that cost to like, make? Probably less than a dollar. Um, yeah, probably. Um, Lego has a problem recently of um, increasing prices even though they don't have to. Um, it's like Nintendo, but for like real well, things. Their excuse is that they're getting ahead of inflation and so that they can pay the employees and stuff like that. But it's yeah, they still, definitely yeah, do it. Like, you know, they're paying their employees a lot. Yeah. It's still be overboard, fair, though, so in my opinion. It's overboard, in my opinion, though. Yeah. Um, like sweatshop workers are getting a raise now. <laughs> definitely. 100%. Well, I, mean, I mean, that's their bottom line. They just gotta keep those guys happy. Can, can I just say... <laughs> yeah. I, I have never oh. met someone who, who uses Legos, I'll say, who... You, you don't immediately look at or listen to and be like, I bet this person uh, plays with Legos. Like, ev everyone who plays with Legos, like, you can, like, clock them. Like, you can clock them. Yeah. Somebody. Like, you can immediately look, like, you can smell them, like, yeah. a mile away. Literally. 100%. 100%. I mean, for me, it gets hard if they're from, like, Britain because, like, every British people, or every British person acts the same uh, like on YouTube that's oh, well, on YouTube that's like I mean on YouTube like that's because of the so like, guys uh, do you want to join my free gift card well, giveaway no, I, like, I, everyone I mean, acts like, like that's a YouTuber that thing too. yeah well no yeah, I mean like every I mean, British person uh, is like that I'm talking about the vloggers though like vlogging I mean, vloggers, yeah, like, vloggers I aren't real people they're fake people well that's, so the like it's not real industry plants yeah vlogging they're, they're and uh Lego con like other than animation, like vlogging and Lego content are very similar. I guess. YouTube. Elaborate. Yes. I don't understand. Uh, vlogging I mean, and Lego, like, like, they could be like, that's the most furthest apart I've ever heard. Like, and you look like saying basically, it's the same vlogging, well, you know, okay, making like, videos. And I'm just like, yeah. And Lego sure. are the same thing. <laughs> well, no, like. I want to hear this. Here, let me, let me see this. Um, okay, so this first person I'm going to send is. Uh, cancelled, but it's the only one I know. <laughs> well, I don't know if she's cancelled or not. Oh my god. Uh, but I mean, people don't like her. How many? How many children did they rape? No, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't even know what the drama <laughs> At is. At least fifteen. Yeah, it's got to be over ten. It's like rookie numbers. You got to pump them up. Yeah. Who's that, like, British, like, dude, like, I don't know who it was, she, like, uh, surviving she, on one pound? It's, uh, it's Gabby Hanna, I don't know. No, it's like a dude. Well, no, no, I'm talking about the first, the first person I'm sending is Gabby Hanna, because... Oh, I know like, Gabby Hanna. That's, like, the only vlogger I know that's not... I found a monster. Lego. But, I, I didn't even watch this video, but at a glance it looks like it would be comfortable. Is that oh supposed God, to be? I can't find that gun. Is that an example of a vlog that's like a Lego video? Like... Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna watch it because I'm recording the podcast, but maybe I'll watch it later. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I... Where is it? Like, there's some dude I remember. Like this British guy, he was like, uh, like it was like the most tone deaf video ever, right? Like he was like, a living on one pound a day is so hard. I don't know how these homeless people do it. Is basically what, what the guy said. He's like, there's crazy guys. Like there's, I don't know how to do it. Like, we're living on one pound a day. I could never do this, guys. And then there is, Holly on this, basically this, this person does like only Lego, but it's still. A very similar kind of video. Oh, I see. I guess you can. Can I ask it. you guys something? Like, is, you have to be uh, like, you have to answer this very honestly. Could you do this? Sure. Do you guys actually like Star Wars? Yeah. Uh, I I liked it when I was little. You know, it's getting it's getting to it the point. Like, can I be honest? It's, it's like so <laughs> bad. 
No, I mean, listen. Well, when I was little, it was good. When I was it's little, it's boring. It but like, what? Like certain parts are like really cool, like the lightsaber. I don't know like, about that. The story is just so. Uh, bland. Which? Uh, like, what am I... Well, which movies all are you talking about? So, okay. Like, the first ones are like all right. Like I... everything else after that's like. Like, there's no real value in watching those. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta um, ask you that. I don't feel like I'm getting, like, I gotta anything ask of you. real value. I gotta Go ask ahead. you. Which is better, Star Trek or Star Wars? Oh, my God. And yes, this is relevant to this. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna piss off both of them. <laughs> like, oh. There's no point in me answering this. I don't like, I don't like them. Both of them are shit. Okay, Why? so... Why are they both shit? Why? I watched the movies like when I was little. Star Wars. Like, so... Which movies? For what? Which one? I don't remember. I was like very young. You don't. But, you like, don't remember if it was Star Trek or Star Wars that you watched. No, I remember if it was Star Trek or Star Wars. But like Star Wars, I remember a bit more. Star Trek. When I watched it, it was like I didn't like it. It was like so. Like I don't know. It felt like a copy of a copy of a copy. So okay. So the first three Star Wars movies are. For most people, seen as like cinema. Basically. The old ones like, I liked, right? Like so, the old Star Wars were like that yeah. was interesting. I think. So let me. Like, everything afterwards was like really boring. Let me elaborate though. Um, so go ahead. Currently, the newest three movies have like nothing that adds to them that makes them worth watching. But they're they're working on that. Um, like what? The they're, women. They're not gonna fix uh, that. They're not gonna. Fix like, the well, women, am I right, folks? But like, we don't Dave like Filoni, women here. Dave Filoni is working on fixing it with like his, like Ahsoka, the new show that came out, and okay. that's pretty good. The that's pretty Star good right now. World. No, no, so those good. are good. Those oh, like so... uh, like the Clone uh, Wars and yeah, shit. But what, like, what I'm saying is, people when the prequels came out hated them, uh, but everyone loved the fights and stuff, and like some of the characters are really cool. So. Mm. Um, but between episode two and three, there was this cartoon, uh, made by Gendy Tarakovsky, the guy who made, uh, Samurai Jack, who basically made, I still think it's the best Star Wars movie, even though it's a collection of shorts, it's like the best Star Wars movie, uh, in my opinion. And there's actually very few dialogue scenes. It's like mostly action. Um, but... It is, um, it was followed up by another movie called The Clone Wars Movie. Well, it was called Star of the Clone Wars Wars. Well, not really, but that's what the... the what? I, okay, so actually, to explain that joke, I need to show you what the cover looks like. Oh, God. Star Wars. It's just like there's so many other good do you, shows. Wait, do you just like not like sci-fi? Like what? What's your deal? I love sci-fi. Like there's nothing wrong with it. It's uh, like in Star Wars, in like specific, it's like there's nothing so special about it. Okay. So as you like, can name see, any other sci-fi. Just like tell me another sci-fi movie. No. Like, as you can I, see, I, I, it's Star of the Clone. Star of the Clone Wars Wars. Uh, <laughs> No, I, I, I like uh, I like Clone Wars. Clone Wars is all right. I think. Yeah, but okay, I think so the thing is, it's the good. movie. Oh, go ahead. The movie sucked. The movie added nothing to anything, you but it did. Say. It did introduce Ahsoka, who's like the most popular character currently, and like she just got her own show. But um, this revived a love like especially in people who grew up with the show that came after it it revived a love for the era of like the clone troopers and stuff and so that's yeah. why people like the prequel the prequel movies um is because it's added on by this kind of stuff that here's what i'll say makes it cool the prequels get a lot of shit and i think i think it's because of episode two Episode 2, like, if you turn on episode 2, you try to watch it, you can't. Like, it's, like, it, a revulsion so, appears in, in, like, your gut, and 
you have like diarrhea and you vomit. It's not good. Honestly, like but you, you're repelled from it. Yeah, but episode one is all right. Like to be honest, episode one is kind of cool. It introduces a lot of interesting stuff, and episode three is kind of good too. Like to be real. Um, so if you want to, real. if you want to enjoy every Star Wars nice. movie, no, if you want to enjoy every Star Wars movie, then I would recommend. Doing a full playthrough. No, no, doing <laughs> a full playthrough of the newest Lego Star Wars game, because What's it condenses. What's the new, newest Lego Star Wars game? Uh, uh, I don't know Saga. About that. I don't know about that. <laughs> it, well, it condenses like, the stories. Bait. You're trying to bait me into no, playing no. this game, aren't you? No, it, it. Well, it's only if you want to have the movies condensed down into a format that is more enjoyable. Okay, but like, what is it about? Like, is it everything? Uh, it's it no, everything? it's it's just the nine movies. Um, oh, it's just the nine movies. That's not everything. You don't need like the last three. Other movies. You don't. You don't need the last three. You, you don't need the. You don't need the last three. But I mean, it improves upon them and makes them actually fun. I don't oh, know. Okay. I don't know how you can improve the last. Like, I don't. I don't understand that. Like, what does that look like? Like, there was a Star Wars well, movie with like, like they your mama a joke. Like the actually, I don't know. I think there might have been. I like I actually, I saw this on another podcast. Like, like these, like they were talking about this, and I was like, "There's no way that's real." And I searched it. It's like Star Wars mum joke. Like, it was... Well, it's uh, it's funny because they actually there are a lot of weird things in Star Wars that kind of uh. I would say imply that their faith is still Christian. What? Uh, like what? Like they say, God damn it, and uh, hell. And uh, I mean, is that Christian or is it like well, they say all, to Christians? Like, well, Han Solo says, "I'll see you in hell." Uh, I mean, so, that means he's going to hell. Well, yeah. I, I'm sure they have some canon explanation for yeah, that. Yeah, there, there is a canon explanation, but for a while, there wasn't. It's probably because it's American. Like, America's like yeah. a very Christian sort of nation. But, okay, so there are a lot of things that they, um, that they replace with, like, jargon that sounds similar. Like... Like what? Uh, there's like a made-up... There, well, there's like a made-up... There's a made-up curse. Dang nabbit. What? No. Yeah, it's actually close to that. It's dank ferric. What? They, Are you taking the piss? Is that a real thing? That's I, real. Is that real? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Say that again. Uh, dank ferric. Dank ferric. Dank ferret. That's what it sounds like. That sounds like... like dank okay, so ferret. It's like a YouTuber's it's name. Like, like, like you're talking about a really smelly okay. ferret. In the Mandalorian about, culture, like a YouTuber from like who plays Roblox. In the Mandalorian culture, it's an alternative for the F word, according to Screen Rant. Hey, why would they put alternative? Like, I guess kids watch this, right? But yeah, kids watch it. But I mean, this is like intended I mean, for kids, but the people who watch it are like I mean, fifty years old. Damn, Actually, call that. let me let me find for a clip. Real, on God. Oh, it's like start the start of the Clone Wars is like digitally mastered by THX, which like I'm pretty sure they like basically owned by. Well, to, THX is like George Lucas. Them. George Lucas created THX. Like, but someone bought it. Like, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they, when like, George Lucas out. is, you know, they can Razor, out. yeah, Razor bought it. I'm pretty Here. sure. Yeah, Razor bought THX. Here you go. Let me see. This is in the movie. The Star of the Clone Wars Wars movie. Oh my yeah, god. I just got a FYI for y'all. Um, I gotta head out. That's so. the most American thing. Y'all. Alright. 